Hello guys, welcome to another video in this React series. In this video, we are going to learn how we can read Excel data and display it on web page using React.js. Here, I have a local Excel file which contains some data in this Excel. As you can observe here, it contains seven columns and few data here. In this exercise, we will try to get this data in our React application and display it in our application. For that, let's open Core Editor first. The first thing we need to do it here is we need to install XLSX package. For that one, let me open console window here. And here I need to write npm install XLSX. Then press enter. Now this will install the necessary packages which are required to read an local Excel file and display the data and do whatever the operations which we can do in Excel. So once we are done with installing the XLSX package, next let me create one separate dedicated folder for this exercise and I will name this folder by name read Excel file data. And as I need this one under components, let me move that one. Reading the Excel file data is mainly three steps process. In the first step, we'll handle the file selection whenever a file is chosen by the user. In the second step, we'll use a utility code from this XLS library. And in third step, we'll use both first step and second step files and we'll display the data in our web page. And finally, we are going to integrate that one in our main file app.js file. So let's see all these steps one by one. For the first step, let me create one JS file by name fileinput.js. In this one, let me add some code here. So this component will handle the file selection and trigger a function whenever a file is selected. As you can see here, we have an event handler by name handle file change. So this will be called whenever a file will be selected by the user, which we have defined in the return statement where we have a JSX element for input file type. So whenever user selects a file, this function will get called. And within this function, the selected file will be accessed by this e.target.files and it will be saved in this file. So that's the first step of this process. The next step is we need to create a utility for this XLS file. For that one, let me create another JS file and let me name it as readXL.js. Just like in first step, let me add some code here. Let's break this one one by one. So as we are using XLSX library at the top, you can see we have imported that one. And then we have created a functional component by name read Excel. So this component will receive one prop that is file. So whatever the file is chosen by the user that will be processed within this functional component. Within this functional component, we are returning a user a new promise. Just to remember you, promises are used for handling asynchronous operations in JavaScript and they can either resolve with a value or reject with an error. And within this promise, we have created an instance of file reader object and we have defined that one to reader variable. This object is used to read the content of files asynchronously here. Next, an event handler is assigned to the onload event of the reader object here. So this event is triggered whenever the file reading process is successfully completed. So inside this event handler, the actual process of Excel file is going to take place here. In this line of code, the result property of an event e.target.result contains the file of the type array buffer, which we are going to convert by using unit 8 array for further processing and we are storing that one in data. And then xlxx.read function is used to pass the Excel data stored in the data array. Here you can observe type colon array option specifies that the input is provided as an array of bytes here. 
Next, the names of sheets in the Excel books are access to the sheet names property of the workbook object. In this case, we are fetching the first sheet of the Excel and storing it in sheet name. And then actual sheet data is accessed in the next line and we are storing that one in sheet. And finally, by using xlsx.utils.sheet2json, we are converting the data into JSON format and storing it in Excel data. And finally, we are going to resolve this promise by using the code resolve Excel data. If any error occurs during this file reading process, we are going to display that error message using this reader.onError event handler. And finally, the read as array buffer method is called on the reader object by initiating the reading of the provided file as an array buffer. That's the second step of our process. Now the third step is we need to define Excel sheet data which we have retrieved on our web page. For that one, let me create one JS file by name Excel Display.js. In this component at the top, I have imported React and useState as we are going to use useState hook in our functional component. Then, as we have written the logic of reading the file and importing the Excel data in file input.js file and read Excel.js file, I am going to import those two components as well at the top. Then I have created a component by name Excel display here. And within this functional component at the top, I have defined an Excel data variable by using the use state hook, where I am initially setting this data to null. And when there is a change in Excel, I am using this function to change the data. So here, if you scroll down, you can observe we have a return statement. Within this return statement, we have JSX element which we are using for displaying the UI part. In this code, you can observe that we have not added input JSX element to choose a file. Instead of that one, here we are using file input component, which internally will call file input component, in which we have JSX element to choose a file. When a file is selected by the user, this handle file select method will get called. In this method, we are calling the read Excel method, which is from read Excel component, where we have defined the complete logic of fetching the data from Excel. Here we have defined it as asynchronous function. So once the data is fetched from Excel file, that will be stored in data and it will be set to our variable by using the set Excel data function. Once it is done, we know that all the data will be stored, whichever is retrieved from Excel file in this Excel data variable. And at the bottom, if you can observe, we are mapping through this Excel data object, which is the iterating function, which we can use for iterating through an object. So once it is getting iterating through this object, we are displaying the data which we have retrieved in different rows by using TRs here. So whatever the data is retrieved from Excel, that will be displayed here. So this completes third step of our process. Once you are done with this one, our final step is we need to add this one to our main file that is app.jsx file. For that one, let me import this Excel display from this path. Then we need to include this one in our return statement. For that one, let me add an open bracket and a close bracket here. Once you are done with including this one in our main file, let's save all the files here and go to browser to preview this one. We got an error here by saying module not found. This is nothing but we have defined incorrect path in one of our component. As here it is suggesting there is an error in this file. So let me go to this component. If you scroll up, you can see we have defined path incorrectly here. So let me correct this one. Now save it again and go back to browser. So now it is resolved and you can see there is an option to choose a file here. Click on that one. Here I have saved the file on the desktop here. So let me save this file and click on open 
and you can observe here as soon I click on open the data which is in Excel file that is getting displayed here. If you cross verify that one here, you got all the columns and their respective data in our React application file. So we have successfully created a React.js application that reads Excel data and displayed it on a web page. You can customize and style the components to match your project's design of your requirement. So that's it guys for this video. If you like this, please click on like button, share it with others and subscribe to my channel.